Earth Observing 1 EO1 is a decommissioned NASA Earth observation satellite created to develop and validate a number of instrument and spacecraft bus breakthrough technologies. It was intended to enable the development of future Earth imaging observatories that will have a significant increase in performance while also having reduced cost and mass. The spacecraft was part of the new Millennium Program. It was the first satellite to map active lava flows from space, the first to measure a facility's methane leak from space, and the first to track regrowth in a partially logged Amazon forest from space. E01 captured scenes such as the ash after the World Trade Center attacks, the flooding in New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina, volcanic eruptions, and a large methane leak in Southern California. Topic Overview Its Advanced Land Imager ALLI measured nine different wavelengths simultaneously, instead of the seven measured by the imager in Landsat 7. This permitted a greater flexibility in false color imagery. Another improvement was that instead of having an imaging spectrometer that sweeps from side to side, the alley had a linear array of spectrometers that each scanned a strip of ground parallel to that of adjacent spectrometers. In order to compare the two imagers, E01 followed Landsat 7 in its orbit by exactly one minute. The ALLI's instrument design and onboard technology directly shaped the design of the Operational Land Imager on Landsat 8. Other new technologies included Hyperion Imaging Spectrometer recording more than 200 wavelengths, Phased Array Communications Antenna. Optical fiber cables connected the data logger with the two IBM RAD 6000s. Teflon fueled pulsed plasma thruster. Lightweight, flexible solar panel. Carbon coated radiators for thermal control. Linear Adalon Imaging Spectrometer Array equipped with a new atmospheric correction device, E01 was also used to test new software, like the Autonomous ScienceCraft experiment. This allowed the spacecraft to decide for itself how best to create a desired image. It was only limited by a priority list of different types of images, and by forecasts of cloud cover provided by the NOAA. The knowledge acquired and technology developed from Hyperion is being incorporated into a NASA concept for a potential future hyperspectral satellite, the Hyperspectral Infrared Imager. It was expected to function for 12 months and was designed to function for 18 months. Those expectations were greatly exceeded, though its hydrazine fuel was mostly depleted by February 2011. Small maneuvers were successful for debris avoidance but long duration burns for orbit maintenance could not be performed due to insufficient fuel. The 2013 senior review panel recommended that E01 be decommissioned in 2015 when the mean local time MLT equatorial crossing would have degraded to the point where many products will lose their usefulness. The E01 team proposed that the mission continue as a lunar lab. They proposed that by turning the instruments toward the Moon and spectrally characterizing selected lunar features at a variety of lunar phase angles, they could facilitate cross calibration among imaging satellites. For example, if E01 Lunar Lab were to be in operation to overlap CLARREO Pathfinder in 2019, the coincident lunar measurements would allow the entire E01 Alley and Hyperion Archive to be put on the CLARREO radiometric scale, along with the other sensors that have and will image the Moon. 
In 2015, the Senior Review Panel stated that they could not support this justification for the extended mission beyond 2016 and recommended that it be decommissioned on 30 September 2016, when an analysis indicated that a MLT crossing of 8 o'clock would occur. NASA Headquarters Earth Science Division then decided to terminate the E-01 mission starting October 2016 with spacecraft passivation occurring November 2016 through February 2017 and full operations shut down to occur by March 2017. The reasons for the decommissioning were the early MLT would greatly limit the usefulness of the data for science research and application support. There was only limited utility of extending E01 mission for high latitude observations. There was limited potential scientific benefit and users of the proposed lunar lab E01 was deactivated on the 30th of March 2017. At the time of deactivation, it was estimated that the satellite would remain in orbit until 2056, when it will burn up in Earth's atmosphere. <laughs> 